Next thing on the agenda is the SEPTI resignation of uh, Andrew Stevenson and Kyle Stenstrom from the Conservation Commission. Mr. Chairman, I would move to accept the resignation of Andrew Stevenson and Kyle Stevenson from the Conservation Commission, effective immediately. And I would just add that it would be with regret, because uh, both of the guys are good guys. Uh, Second. Too bad to see them go. Um, Mr. Okay. Chairman, if it's in order, I'd move that we, um, we uh, table these resignations for two weeks and give the um, opportunity to the uh, town administrator to see if we can uh, convince them to stay. Okay, that's you can do that. Uh, I w if that's approval of the board, I would uh, withdraw my motion to accept the resignations. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any anybody opposed? I know um, talking to both of them is probably going to be a hard job to turn them around, but uh, good luck. Well, they both brought positive energy and a good um, effort to the board, and I think to let them leave because of um, you know an argument uh, amongst members. I think we should at least make an effort to <coughs> see if they would reconsider. Okay. So moved. Um, we now have a vote to appoint Conservation Commission members. There's three that are up for our membership. Jurgen Keller, Sharon McNamara, and Mark Sorting. Any of those here? I see Sharon out there. Would you like to say anything, Sharon? Or? Sure. <laughs> well, uh, what brings you forward to come on the Conservation Commission? <laughs> do you want my funny answer, or do you want me to <laughs> <laughs> um, You know, I just saw, you know, I've been on the zoning board. I've been very involved with some of the other um, committees and such with the fire department and a few other things I have my application to. I don't know if you've all reviewed that. So... It's very important for me to be involved in the community. I've been here 25 years, love our town, love everything about it. Um, being involved is a very important part of everything that myself and my family have done. So when I saw that there was a couple of vacancies in Pom Pom, I thought, well, I will talk to Ed about that and see if there's a good fit for me. I was previously the secretary. I'm not even sure if all of you even knew that. So I was the secretary on conservation, which mm -hmm. is where I started I had to look up the dates, <laughs> so it was a long time ago anyways, and so I sort of know um, the terms and a lot of the not, like, just, what is it, the topics that they bring up and orders of condition and the paperwork and all that, so I helped the general public with all of that when they came in to file for whatever they were looking for, so I know that part of it. I do think that there's a little part of me that has to learn more about conservation, exactly what the DEP, w, DEP rules and regulations are. I know some. Um, obviously, I was on the zoning board, so I heard a lot of it, so I know the whole processes of how to run a meeting and, you know, just the agenda and everything else on how to sort of keep it flowing. So I thought maybe I would be a good fit, and I would leave it up to you guys if I was or not. Okay. Mr. Chairman, uh, we have one opening where we didn't accept two resignations tonight. We have one opening on the um, Conservation Commission. I would move at this time that we appoint Sharon McNamara. Second. Mm -hmm. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Yes. Yeah, so Sharon, I've worked with you uh, at various degrees doing town business, uh, most recently the police and fire, the fire department building um, uh, review, and you've been an asset to the community. Uh, one of the things that uh, 
people wonder is that with your real estate background, if the, that would have an effect or an influence on anything with uh, uh, having to do with, with conservation. Now on zoning, uh, I thought it was a great fit, and if there was ever a, a, a conflict that came up, mm -hmm. uh, you'd raise your hand and, and, and step aside. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I've, I've, I've told folks that would have these concerns is that there aren't that many people in town that do the volunteering, and it's it's a finite group of people. So there are times when you, you're going to people that volunteer for boards are going to have certain conflicts because they're so intimate with the town, yeah, and absolutely. that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've explained to some people. Yeah. Uh, but I'd just like to hear it in in your words uh, yeah. uh, how you would deal with uh, uh, any conflicts from uh, your professional life to the con. Yeah. con, con. So I had a feeling that something like that might come up I mean I think I was the one that made the personal decision with the Zoning Board of Appeals to leave that board and the reason I did it was because I felt with the ZBA I can overturn things as a board member there so to me it just felt you know we're giving people you know the variances and we're doing the things <coughs> like that to me it just felt several times I felt like there was a little bit of a conflict and that's why you saw I would always say I can't be in this I talked to Frank who was the chairman Baldessini and I just told him that I felt like I was at a point where it just felt like perhaps I wasn't a good fit anymore. And I would never want anybody to think that I wasn't full of integrity. I mean, my desire to be on committees and to be part of the town is because I am part of this town. I've been here 25 years. I don't think what my career is should really interfere with that. So I know, I mean, we all have different careers um, that we're doing things outside of you know, volunteering it should never get involved in any of that. Um, if somebody comes, I do do new construction in town. I think everybody knows that. My company is Boston Connect Real Estate that we're the number one agents in town. We, I know that. If new construction or anything like that comes up, I definitely will have to excuse myself. I cannot be on those. I won't do that to myself. But I think that I've proven over the years, I've had been in this business 17 years and I've never crossed that line with integrity. And that's the same thing for my office. We have several of our agents who are very, very much involved in our community. And um, I've had a conversation with Ed even, and just said, if there's any type of influence of someone thinking that we're not being full of integrity, then they wouldn't be working with me at my office either. So um, I do know that there's a little bit of that out there, but I think that the people who know me know you know, my vein of integrity would never interfere with anything to do with the town. I want what's best for the town. So it, everything you've said is, is what I've said to uh, people who have, who have had doubts. Yeah. So I just wanted to give you the opportunity to say it in your own words. No, okay. I really appreciate that. Because I know it's something that people are thinking, but um, I, I can't do, I can't, I can't not want to be a part of our town and try to make a difference and try to help, I feel like. I just really want to be involved. And I have. I've been on a board with you. I think, Matthew, you're the only person that I don't know personally. I've been on a board with you, Bill, <laughs> with you, Lou. Um, after we've known each other, obviously, through even our businesses sort of coincide. And poor Ed had to deal with me when I was a secretary of conservation. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been here. And everyone I used as a reference is a town employee as well. And I did that on purpose because I want all of you and I want our community to feel comfortable knowing that I just want to be a part of it. And if anyone has any question, they can go to, I almost just wrote in there, go to any town hall office because I, I really make it a point of playing nice in the sandbox. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? I uh, just one. What are your goals for the Commission? What would you like to accomplish as part of the commission? Um, I'd like to see it um, friendly. <laughs> I, you know, I also watched a battle. I want, um, I'm sad too to hear that two members, you know, actually decided to resign because there just seems to be maybe a little bit of conflict that's going on on the board right now. I'm not sure of what all of those intricacies are. But I think that maybe just having somebody that's sort of a middle ground, just saying, hey, you know, this is the procedure of how we run a meeting. These are, you know, just to maybe see it flowing a little bit better and 
everybody getting along, and I think most importantly, respecting each other and respecting our community who's sitting in the audience watching this, whether they're here or they're on TV, you know, watching from home. I think that we owe that to our to our town. Thank you. Thank you. I have other goals in life. If you want to hear those someday, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else have any other questions? Yeah. Sure. I just ran a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, Jim, can you step up, please? Yeah, where? Any microphones. You can't be heard on the phone. Okay. Um, I guess, you know. You can come here. No, whatever. Wherever you need me to be. I need you to speak here. Okay. Um, I guess, I mean, first of all, just like Dan said, I, you know, I compliment anybody willing to volunteer and put time into the community. I think you need more people like yourself. Um, I, I guess the issue I would have is um, within the, with any board or commission um, within the town that's making decisions on land use, um, there is just, there's a clear conflict of interest in uh, Ms. McNair's line of work and that. Um, and I, I don't, Sharon, I, I've never met you. I have no doubt, um, based on what I've heard, um, the utmost integrity, um, and everybody's had great things to say, to say about you. Um, my, my concern would be that there would be a perception that there is um, an unmitigated conflict. Uh, I think everybody would be in agreement that there is a conflict there, and we'd be trusting Sharon to, to recuse herself when something came up, but that wouldn't really change perception in the community that um, there is, and that, uh, this is something I'm always concerned about, that. Um, especially when you're kind of getting into small communities like our own, that people are afraid that, you know, the system's rigged. And when you have um, somebody that owns a large real estate practice in the community sitting on a board that is making land use decisions, um, you know, that creates whispers and it create, I think it creates almost a lack of trust whether or not that's fair or not. But that is one of those, that's one of those things where perception is reality. So I think in, and it's not, it's an unfortunate, but that's, it's the truth. And I would say that, you know, for people like Ms. McNair that happen to be in these lines of work, the conflict with her, I would say conflict with her serving on such boards. There are a lot of other boards in town that do not um, rule mostly on land use. Um, and selfishly, I would say that as a member sitting on the advisory committee, I think our committee would benefit a great deal from somebody like yourself's involvement. And in that particular case, I think there would be less of a conflict that the community would have to worry about. But that. I mean that that's kind of my two cents on the issue and again it's not it's certainly nothing against Sharon or it's more of the perception that gets created um, when, when there's a like this. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Tim. Um, Tim Brennan. And what is your profession? Uh, I'm a financial advisor. And, I'm and you're on our advisory board? Yes. Okay. So you know how to work budgets and all that yep. type of stuff. You live in town as well I'm assuming yes. too so I just feel like you could go to any board <laughs> and find that I mean, I could definitely say that I had a conflict with what you're doing with the position that you are in, too. So um, I guess that isn't really up for me. It's really up to you guys to decide how you feel about what my position is. I don't think that I have ever overstepped my bounds in any way. In fact, I specifically recall one time there was a zoning board meeting, and somebody brought up the fact about me being a real estate agent, and I said, I am not here as a real estate agent at this time. I am here as a board member. It has nothing to do with any of that. So I feel like I did a good job as a zoning board member. I was on it for several years. Um, I was the Secretary of Conservation, and I had my license at that time as well. Um, and I didn't find it as a conflict. I would argue that there are other people maybe on the board that have positions that <laughs> you could question, um, you know, other board members have friends who are real estate agents. Um, you know, I, I don't want to really bring other people into it, but you know. No, I don't, I don't think you need to. But I will say this: that I, I've had this same discussion with uh, with Tim and, and others, and uh, and I feel the same way that I mentioned earlier. Uh, that I, I think your integrity is beyond re reproach, and being such a small community that the. So only certain people are going to, going to be interested in, in these type of positions, and it's difficult to get people to volunteer as it is. Uh, so there, there are times when, um, even if it's not a conflict, uh, the, the uh, appearance of a conflict could happen. And, and that's true. Mm -hmm. That appearance can happen. But I will say to some people that sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. 
it's, it's not someone's not always mm -hmm. out looking to gain the system, and and I think that that's where we are here. Mm -hmm. I think that's something. Uh, yeah, I would agree with Dan that uh, Sharon's integrity is beyond question. Uh, she's done a great job, and what better person to have than somebody who knows and understands the effect that um, wetlands would have on a real estate uh, potential development or something like that. Somebody who's been through it recently or somebody who's been through it in their career, you're, you're not going to get people volunteering for boards, um, you know, that have experience if you're going to constantly look at their uh, motives as being uh, selfish in some way. And I don't think that uh, Sharon can be called into question for anything she's ever done in the past or anything that she may do in the future. She's a... Uh, a top-notch real estate office and uh, real estate agency and uh, you know her husband owns a plumbing business in town you know does that mean she couldn't sit on the board of health I mean you know there's uh, you know there's inherent conflicts in everything and you can find them if you dig deep enough but um, I did nominate a chairman and I stand with, uh, uh, with that uh, motion um, just to bring everybody else up to power um, you guys are a little bit late, I think, uh, Mr. Mr. Keller, yeah. and um, um, uh, sorry. Okay. Um, just to just to bring you up to, up to um, you weren't in here a little bit earlier, but um, um, we were looking for everybody that was that was um, going to apply for conservation and uh, and get them up to say something. Karen, uh, Sharon came up and. Uh, and did uh, tell us why she wanted to get on conservation. And uh, there's a motion on the floor by Arthur and seconded that they put her on um, as a member of conservation. And um, there was also a motion prior to that that the two people that resigned, uh, Andy Stevenson and Kyle Stenstrom, um, um, prolong accepting their resignation for two weeks and see if uh, Ed Thorne can talk to both of them and um, concur that they really want to resign from the committee because of some problems that were on the committee, um, that maybe we can straighten that out um, and they may not want to resign. They've, they've already given their resignation um, and it's here before the board and the board has decided to put it off for two weeks, which means that there won't be an opening. There's only one opening currently right now and if both of these people want to resign permanently in two weeks, then there will be two openings in two weeks. I just wanted to bring you up to a, up to a power on that. So I don't know if the board wants to hear from both of you people tonight. Well, that's out of um, order because the, no, the um, motion is made for um, appointing Sharon. No, I understand that, but I didn't know whether the board could vote on appointing Sharon and also hear from both of these yeah, people tonight to, to, to do that. So if you wait till after this motion is voted on, um, and we would like to hear from the both of you saying that you're here tonight on why you want to go on conservation. And um, if, if this um, is true that both of them are going to resign and not stay with it, um, then there will be uh, openings. And we, we would definitely like to see uh, you people come back, um, you know, for those openings. So, <clears throat> so there is a motion on the floor in a second to appoint Sharon. Um, so all those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anybody opposed? So there's nobody opposed. So. Um, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, be put on. Thank you. So, uh, Mr. Keller, would you like to come up and, um, and talk to the board and uh, advise us on why you would like to come on conservation if and when there is an opening? Hi. 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 My name is Jordan Keller. <clears throat> yeah, I was looking to uh, give to the community. We have community gardening. Uh, done a lot of agriculture on and off for the last 30 years. Uh, over at Lipinski's farm and whatnot. <coughs> we got 70 acres, corn, tomato, uh, a little bit of fruit trees, things like that. Uh, looking to 
you know, have a place that people in the town can come to learn how to do agriculture, you know, like a place they can learn, or community gardening. I know a lot of the pantries are involved in this now. Uh, I've also done uh, construction. I got a builder's license, so I know a lot about land, about <coughs> about wetlands, about filling, backloading, like when they put in foundations, all this kind of thing. Uh, so I got a skill there. Uh, we also got uh, over in Costa Rica. We do uh, carbon balance community. What it is? It's a uh, it's a pine tree that takes in fossil fuels. We've convinced farmers that it's better to have these uh, these tree farms instead of cattle, and it's what it's doing is putting it's putting the air back in. It's fixing the ozone layer by planting these uh, tree farms. We've got them over in Costa Rica, 300 acres, going on a 59th year. This is a uh, nonprofit. It's it's looked at as a, a research engine. And people <clears throat> put the money together, and it's like a 25-year commitment for these farmers in Costa Rica. And uh, <clears throat> the guy that heads it up is my my mother's uh, brother. She's got a, a PhD in forestry, and uh, from the University of Switzerland. He's 83 now. <laughs> he's still doing it. So he's definitely found his niche a long time ago and stuck with it for 59 years. And, uh, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I know uh, Rick as well as, uh, and uh, I've watched him, what he's done in the community with plants and trees and things like that. I've watched him for years since the 70s, uh, trying to keep what we have. And if a tree comes out, we need to put a tree back in. That we, can't, we can't just remove things all the time. We've got to respect what we have from nature for shrubs, trees, flowers. What's there is, it's, it's there for a reason. So respect to that, is I look to, uh, you know, to have that, when it was removed, to, to keep that intact and go by the parameters of land conservation, town, state, federal, whatever the parameters are, parameters are I can read all these books or whatnot to, to keep it in order. Uh, <clears throat> I've also had a real estate license uh, in two different states and uh, know a lot about land development and building and whatnot. But overall, it's looking to do this to uh, to bring the community together <coughs> to, for farming or whatnot, or flowers, agriculture, a place that they can come to as a family on like a Saturday or Sunday to 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 see the community coming together, rubbing shoulders side by side to uh, build back up what a lot of stuff's been removed and taken out. It's okay, it's been removed and taken out, but we can also, you know, put back to other areas that are uh, improving. Our community, you know, relationships in our uh, in our community as uh, a family, or as family to business, or family to, to town people, or whatnot, that, and, and go by all the parameters of that as well. Uh, so yeah, looking to uh, you know better uh, put back in some of the things that have been removed or whatnot, and uh, work work as a team. And I don't know a lot of people in town to work with businesses to have their agenda. I'm looking to do this as come on as to go about by the parameters of what we're supposed to do. Um, that's what my uh, focus is to, uh, to get things right. I've been on boards for uh, over 10 years. It was mostly in a church application or whatnot. So I knew, I knew, uh, you know how to work on the boards or whatnot to, uh, to do the right thing. Good. Anybody have any questions? Uh, yeah, I'd like to ask the gentleman. Uh, you you have attended conservation meetings yes. prior to yes. submitting your application, so you're somewhat familiar with some of the issues that comes up before that board. Yes. 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 Uh, I was, I've attended seven meetings, and uh, I see that needs. Uh, to be a, a subtlety there of, uh, you know, an understanding of the parameters, what to do, and uh, go in there to, to do the right thing, and uh, you know, all in the, all have an under basic understanding of what's going to happen and what are the parameters how to do it, and to 
uh, meet in a public forum probably after the meeting about what's going to go on to figure out, you know, with the, with the camera or whatnot, to figure out what's going to be done on that to iron out what we need before the next meeting. So it's not like decisions in one night. We've got to have a plan as a group that night, hopefully on that same thing that we can meet after that in front of, you know, so we can figure out who's going to do what to get everything in place for that for the other departments here and whatnot, so to have things in order on everybody's parameters, that, that it gets approved by every area, you know, whatnot. So, so it's in, so it's fit, you know, the decision. It's fit as, as a group of people, instead of a one-person a one person show going off. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Hear me now? Okay, thank you. Uh, Good. Thank you, okay. Mr. Mr. Culler. Thank you. And, uh, We'll, uh, we'll definitely let you know what's going on um, okay. when um, when it does happen. We'll make sure that you, you're apprised of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Mr. Um, Sorti? Sorti. Sorti. Good evening. I would first like to uh, apologize uh, for tardiness. I was actually here before I got pulled away for a discussion, so I, I apologize that I wasn't here for oh. the start of the meeting. I thought I saw you here earlier. Yeah, well, I was. I was. Yeah. The, in fact, the chairman actually pulled me away, so I uh, yeah. wasn't here for the beginning, so I apologize. Yeah. But uh, I made a few uh, few talking points here, so I'll just uh, mm. go through them a little bit, and then sure. feel free to ask me any questions. But uh, I, I'm really just looking forward to, to serving the town in the spirit of cooperation and collaboration, and not just within the commission itself, but with other boards and uh, subject matter experts and relevant professionals as needed. Um, I think that... Uh, you know, anybody on the board obviously is, is committed to uh, the preservation of, you know, the open, open land and space in the town, our water sources and bodies, and, uh, and the wildlife that, uh, that runs around it. I'm excited about working within the commission on a team-based approach to help applicants solve problems while upholding Pembroke and the Mass General Laws. I believe the goal of the commission would be to have each applicant walk away with the feeling that they were treated fairly and professionally no matter what the outcome of their application, and not only maintaining, but enhancing the integrity of the commission and the town in itself. As a builder of several properties, including a challenging product project here in town, I have had the experience of being in front of the Conservation Committee as an applicant, and so I understand what it feels like to be on the other side of that table. I've had various professional experiences within private industry and public safety in my career, and part of that experience is working with municipalities uh, in areas like bargaining, uh, regulatory compliance, licensing, and permitting. So that's the, the short story. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Good. Um, I have, I probably just have uh, maybe one question. Um, I saw your interview with conservation on, on TV when okay. you went in front of uh, conservation. And uh, I was pretty impressed about um, what you said on your interview um, with conservation because you talked a little bit about Silver Lake and about the Jones River and things like that, that that that's probably dear to my heart is the fisheries and, and the ponds and uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I appreciate that. The only question that I, that I did have for you that, that I thought was, um, I just want to make sure that anybody that goes on any of these boards, I mean, it's a small town. Pembroke is a small town. Everybody knows everybody else and all that stuff. And I just want to make sure that, that you always vote from, if you get put on conservation, that you would always vote from your heart, not from if somebody did you a favor, if somebody helped you out with something, if somebody uh, hired you, uh, you feel obligated that you would have to vote uh, in favor of what that person said. Sure. I would want you to make sure <coughs> excuse me, that you voted for what you thought was the best for the town, not what's the best for the person or who's on the committee. Understood. That's if I, I can address both yes. of those. Uh, yeah. Silver Lake is, uh, is my true passion. It's my backyard. Yeah. And uh, as you saw in the interview, uh, you know, I'm very engaged in uh, the preservation of Silver Lake and, uh, you know, what it's going to take to get us there over the next several years. I know it's not uh, a quick fix, and I know it's a long haul, and I feel that... Uh, you know, I'm ready to help take on that challenge, and I'd like to see the, the commission get more involved in not only Silver Lake but the other bodies of water that surround us. Uh, you know, as well as the Montpensier Ponds. Again, as as you saw in the interview. Um, to your second point, 
I can assure you I am 100% apolitical. I don't know anybody in this town, pretty much, uh, except <laughs> for a, I, I just moved here. I, yeah. I came from a, a, a town a quarter of the size of this, so yeah. I understand small town politics. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've lived it uh, for the first 30 years of my life. So, uh, but, uh, you know, my, uh, my interests are in providing stability and professionalism to this board. Yep. And, and bring it back to a place that's good, because obviously it's, it's, it appears to have drifted a bit. Good. And I'd like to help uh, bring it back uh, to the right place. Awesome. Uh, anybody else have any other questions? No, well, he's basically answered my questions. I think he yeah. would be a good member if the uh, opportunity presents itself. Yeah. Anybody else? Very good. Right. Thank you. No, I appreciate you coming in. and. Uh, and like I said, I did. Uh, I really did like your interview uh, that you had, and you hit on the, the key points as far as I was concerned. That that's what conservation is all about: is um, is protecting our land and our ponds and and uh, all of that. So, thank thank you, thank you very much and, for coming. And also, uh, you know, again, working working with applicants and making them, you know, feel like it's a good process and a professional process. Yeah. And uh, you know, again, that's a an equally big part of it, as I see. So. Thank you very much. I yeah. appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And we'll uh, definitely get a hold of you, too, when, uh, as soon as we find out what's going on with the other two that resigned. So okay. thank, you. thank you. Next thing that's up on the agenda is uh, <coughs> consider a vote to authorize the use of town council for conservation commission and the uh, conservation chairman. Um, Basically, myself, I think I've asked, um, I asked uh, Ed some time ago if we couldn't get town council to go in and sit in on a meeting um, because there was some, um, there was some minutes of meetings that, that, um, that town council originally ruled on that, um, that should be, some parts of them should be stricken. Um, and I think there's a, I think that there's a little bit of, um, misunderstanding on conservation when they took their last vote about uh, whether what they should or shouldn't do on that so that's one thing I would like to see but I know that conservation has some uh, questions and concerns about a lot of different things and um, I know the last meeting that we had with um, um, with the two boards that were having problems here and you brought town council in and to talk to them about that I think if we did something along the same Avenue was at and had uh, conservation meet with the board of selectmen and um, and ask those questions and maybe have um, uh, town council give the same type of a presentation to to the conservation members and if there's any other group that wants to sit on it that would be great because it's um, I think it would just bring everybody up to par so yeah and as I mentioned uh, when this subject matter came up the last time. That uh, at the time we didn't, we had an incomplete conservation commission, and I think uh, you folks are going to make a decision in two weeks as to uh, resolving the issue as to uh, people that have resigned and you're asking them to try to stay on and all that. Mm -hmm. So I know town council is aware of the situation, especially with conservation, and uh, they'll they'll probably have Amy Quissell, and I know that a couple of you folks have met who specializes in Conservation Commission Matters, who actually was a 10-year member of the Conservation Commission in, in Marshfield and is still a Marshfield resident. So I would suggest to the board that uh, we, uh, you folks, uh, finally make a decision in a couple of weeks about what the makeup, the future makeup of the uh, Conservation Commission is, and then we can go forward with that. Anybody have any Questions or concerns about that? Huh? No, I think it's in good hands with it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. I just want them to, the commission to, to, to function professionally. And if, if they need, said mm -hmm. done by friend. I know, I know. So if, uh, mm -hmm. if, if they need a little guidance, uh, guidance from uh, town council, uh, then we should facilitate that. 